Greece may be a small country, but it has contributed to nearly every aspect of human civilization. Perhaps its greatest gift has been its language. The Greek alphabet was adopted by the Romans over 2,000 years ago, who spread it throughout the Mediterranean world. As a result, over 60% of English words have Greek or Latin roots. That figure rises to 90% in the fields of science and technology. In the 1950s and 60s, facing economic and political crises, the largest wave of immigrants left Greece and settled in the United States, Canada, and Australia. They set up their own communities, schools, and churches. The Greek language flourished. Fast forward 50 years to today, and there's a problem. People in the diaspora don't speak Greek like their grandparents did. Now there are a few reasons for this. Each new generation of the diaspora used the Greek language less and less at home, until eventually they stopped altogether. As the descendants of these immigrant families increasingly married outside the community, the Greek language has had to compete with other languages in the home. On top of all this, attendance at Greek schools is way down. Teachers don't have the resources they need to effectively engage students with their heritage language and culture. Fortunately, recent technological advances and developments in pedagogy have the potential to revolutionize the teaching and learning of the Greek language in the diaspora. Learning a language is not just about grammar and syntax, it's about communication. And for that, you need to experience a language. Ultimately, this is about helping preserve the Greek language and the diaspora. Rebooting the Greek language is a new approach to teaching and learning the Greek language in the diaspora, being developed by the SNF New Media Lab at Simon Fraser University, thanks to a grant by the Stavros Niarchos Foundation. In collaboration with the Greek Ministry of Education, Research, and Religious Affairs, rebooting the Greek language in the diaspora.